Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you how to create a Slack bot messaging app that can send messages into your Slack workspace automatically using Replit. So to go ahead and get started, we're going to go into api.slack.com and then in the top right corner, we're going to click your apps. Basically, we need to set up all the Slack configurations before we can get started on our code. So we're going to go ahead and click create a new app. It gives us two options over here. We're going to click from scratch. Now you can go ahead and name your app. So I'll go ahead and name it Messaging Bot. And now you can choose which workspace you want this bot to have access to. And then you can go ahead and click Create App. Once you've, you've created your bot, we're going to go and click Bots over here. Scroll a little bit down and click Review Scopes to add. So this is basically what's going to allow us to give permission to the bot what it can and can't do. So we scroll down, we're going to click Add an OAuth Scope. As you can see, there's a lot over here depending on what you want your bot to do, but the only one that we're going to need for this specific one is chat write. So basically this gives the bot permission to write different messages and send them. Once we've done that, we're going to scroll back up and install this into the workspace. So just asking for some permissions here, and we're going to allow that. And then there we go. Now, if you scroll a little bit down here, you can see that this user auth token is what we're going to use in our code. We're going to go ahead and copy this, but make sure to keep this a secret just because anyone who gets access to this can get access to your bot. So you want to protect that always. After we've created our app, we're going to go ahead into the channel that we want the bot to send the message in. So if you go over here, click the little arrow and then go into integrations. We're going to go under apps and click add an app. So over here, we can see that the messaging bot is already in our workspace and we're going to go ahead and add it. Now this is given the bot full permission and access. So now I've gone ahead and created a new Python REPL and I'm going to get started by importing Slack. And I'm going to import operating system. We're also going to be using the schedule function. So I'm adding that in as well and time too. Now we're going to go ahead and add in that API token that we copied from Slack into our REPL. One really cool thing REPL has is the secrets function over here, which allows you to add in the key without it being completely visible in your code. So over here under value, you can go ahead and paste the token from Slack, and then you can just give it a name. So I'm going to name this Slack. Oh. There we go. And then click Add New Secret. So there we have it. Slack underscore token is one of the secrets that we have right now. Now jumping back in here, we're going to go ahead and add in our token. We're going to type client equals Slack dot web client must be and then we're going to click token equals os dot environ and then here you're going to add in whatever your secret was named so mine was called slack underscore token and then here it is. Now the token is in the REPL, good to go. The next step is going to be, the next step is we're going to define the function. So let's call it message me. And then once it prints that, once it runs it, we want it to print done, just so we know everything is good to go. Uh, now we're going to decide where we want it to send the message within the workspace and what we want the text to say. So we're going to go ahead and do client dot chat underscore post message. 
And now you're going to choose the channel. So as you can see here, if you go back to your Slack channel, there should be multiple ones depending on what you have. So let's just go ahead and send it to the general. So the channel is going to be hashtag general. And now we're going to go ahead and do the text. I'm going to go ahead and say Tiki wins here. Now we have the function good and ready to go. Now, now we want to go ahead and schedule this message. So one thing that I actually found interesting when I was trying to maneuver my way around the spot was the scheduling function. So one thing to keep in mind is that Replit's time is in UTC. That's the time zone it operates on. So whatever time you would like it to send in your time, you have to do the conversion and then add that here within the 24 hour time clock. So it would be schedule dot every, and then here you can add in whatever day you would like. If you'd like this as a once a week situation or once a day at a certain time, you can completely customize this with the schedule feature. So let's say we want to schedule this every Friday at 17.25. That's within 24 hour time, UTC standard time zone. And then at that time, what do we want it to do? We want it to do We want it to do the function. So message me so here. And then once that's done, or while it's running, I guess, we can say we want it to print script is running. Just so we make sure we're in the loop. And finally, we're going to add in that while this remains true, we'd like it to schedule dot run. And then also, we'd like it to sleep for 10 seconds. There we go. Now we have everything ready. Let's go ahead and run this and see what this gives us. So as you can see, it gave us an error over here. I did miss the parentheses, so I'm just going to go add that in right over here. So let's go ahead and run this now. Now it's giving us that the module Slack has no attribute web client. So what we're going to do to fix this is going to the shell and do pip3 install Slack client. And give it a second. So now the script is running and then once the time hits for the schedule feature, it'll send the message over here. So I'm going to actually go ahead and change the date to today's date so we can make sure that this works. So Tuesday and let's do the time at 2.21.32. I'm going to stop this and showing us the script is running and then hopefully at 2.32 is when this will send over here. So as you can see here, the message is sent, it's in the right channel, the right workspace, everything is good to go. So this is just a quick and easy way to create a scheduling messaging bot here in Slack. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you.